Someone told me one day, the best bragging you can do is that when people brag about you. We are a fiercely independent organization. We're here to find solutions. All of the panelists we bring in are usually people who have skin in the game, who are building companies, are creating growth. Entrepreneurs, risk takers, don't scare us. On the contrary, they excite us. And we're going to talk about blockchain and digital currency. This is the hottest topic today. If blockchain is uh, a database uh, that allows a uh, public ledger that is decentralized um, so that everyone can keep a copy of this ledger that, that keeps track of transactions in some sort. And uh, you know, the um, main use case is Bitcoin. And um, Bitcoin is a payment application that's a decentralized payment application. A characteristic of the blockchain database that's different from a traditional database is it's decentralized, or it can be decentralized, and the Bitcoin blockchain is decentralized, and that, that aspect of it is important because it means that there's no central entity or person who controls the true copy of the spreadsheet or the record. Instead, everyone has their current and true copy of the spreadsheet. It's maintained by a decentralized community of users, and so the power base is the community of users as opposed to a centralized entity. And that concept is going to drive sort of the theme, I, I think, of most of our comments. The blockchain itself is immutable. It cannot be distorted or changed due to uh, advanced cryptography. Um, so that's one of the reasons there's a public ledger for everyone to view and everyone can view it, because no one can change previous blocks. The commercial dimension, what, what this does is that it decentralizes <clears throat> transactions, it decentralizes value to an extent, and it eliminates trust from the authority. So you no longer need a central authority dictating whether you can transfer money, whether you can transfer IP. And you know it also adds a new dimension, which we'll probably get into with Ethereum, which is smart self-executing contracts. Well, I think governments need to allow innovators to innovate. And really, that we have to be very careful with our regulator, regulatory framework that it doesn't overreach. Because if you disincentivize us to innovate, we will just won't do it. So as an entrepreneur, that's from an entrepreneur standpoint. I understand. Someone who's committing significant capital to, to, to this emerging industry. Thank you very much. Um, have a great evening. I hope to see you soon.